Hi ladies, this is Sarah Davis with Team Gracie Jane Jams and I am Senior Team Manager. I have so much to explain to you, so much to tell you, but I want to start with how Facebook works. I think that so many of us just take Facebook for granted and when you are running your business through this free system, you cannot take it for granted. So here's how it works. First of all, let's talk about your um, business page. Your business page, I don't even use mine. I don't touch it. Basically, Facebook for Business is a business proposition for Facebook. Does that make sense? They will let you do it for free, but they're not going to show your posts to all of your um, people who, all your followers, all the people who've liked your page, unless you've boosted it, which costs money. So basically, what you need to do for your Facebook page, if you have a business page, okay, I mean, you really, it's, a, it's you spend money on it. So I'm not going to talk about that. If you want to send me a message, type in the comments, ask me questions about Facebook for business, we are going for your personal profile page, okay, and your parties. This makes completely the same information for both. The way Facebook works is they... I mean, you have like hundreds or thousands of friends, right? And they all post probably once a day, at least, most of them. That's way too much going through your feed. So Facebook has figured out how to write algorithms and figure it out to only what you they think you want to see. So that's why you don't see people's posts all the time unless, for example, they have a baby and then you get to see that because Facebook knows that's an exciting thing that you want to know about. So... What you need to know as a person running her business through Facebook and holding Facebook parties is that is how to boost your views and your visibility. This counts for Facebook groups, your personal page, events, everything. First and foremost, how Facebook decides that something is worth showing you if it's from one of your friends that you actively follow, and by active I mean like you're commenting on their posts and you're liking on your posts, or you've clicked like top and feed or follow this person through their profile page. So if you are active with them, Facebook's going to show you that more frequently. That makes sense, right? If you have you ever had that where you like you friend somebody and then you, all of a sudden you're seeing all their posts, but slowly, slowly, slowly you're not seeing as many as you used to, or you're not seeing any at all, or you've completely forgotten about the person because you don't see anything. It's because Facebook has decided you're not actively discussing things with them, commenting on their stuff. They're not actively commenting on you. You guys aren't important to each other. So Facebook's not going to show that. How to switch this around for your business? First and foremost, start commenting on people's things. Stop liking every little picture. Stop liking every comment. And start just giving a smiley face or a quick comment or, oh, I'm so sorry, or whatever. The more you actually comment on people's posts, the more you will see those posts in your feed. But not only will you see their posts, but they will see your posts more frequently. Because not right now. Okay, this. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. It needs to stay downstairs, okay? The kinetic stands up. Oh stays in the dining room today. Thank you. So that's how you kind of boost that. So how do you boost that? First of all, you go through your friends list and you every couple of days or every month or whatever, start following more people. Go through your friends list and say, Facebook, follow this person. Their posts are going to come up, which gives you the opportunity to start liking, not liking, commenting on them again, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing you can do is post questions, things that actually require a response. And this is something that Melinda and I are learning right now in a class we're taking together. But basically, you want a quick response. Yes, no, one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, whatever. People love taking little surveys like that. Don't call them surveys. Be like, hey, what's your favorite flower? Um, and then post a picture of a flower, like my flower, my favorite flower is a lilac. What's your favorite flower? And then they're just going to be like, Oh, I love this. Or, Oh, I love this. Um, or post something, create an image and post like, what's your style? This is one I just did. 
What's your style? A, classic, B, trendy, C, vintage, D, whatever, okay? You can create them, you can find them, it doesn't matter. And then they're gonna start responding and you can be, okay, so that's the first step. The next step is to respond to their comments on you. There's the little reply thing, right? Every single person gets a comment. You're either um, agreeing with them, empathizing with them, saying, oh, that's completely you, whatever. Comment on every single one of those. That's important because that fills that engagement. Facebook thinks that you're going to start engaging with them, okay? So that's how to do it on your personal page and start getting more and more people engaged on your posts on your personal page. We will work on how to make that and turn that those people into your not just your friends, but your customers and your hostesses too later down the road. But first, they need to start seeing your posts again. And first, they need to start commenting and interacting. And you have to build that relationship because someone who you haven't talked to in 15 years isn't going to buy Jamberry from you if you all of a sudden send them a message and say, hey, I'm, buy I'm selling Jamberry. But... If you've been chatting with them or commenting back and forth on each other's things, there's more of an op door open there. Okay, that's the first thing. How to do this in parties. Whether your party is in a group or whether your party is in an event, it doesn't matter. Here's the thing. A, your hostess's friends will not see your posts as much if they are not your friend. So there's two ways to remedy this. One, become their friend, which is kind of creepy stalker Facebook thing. I usually do that at the end of the party after I've connected with them. And yes, I do have tons of friends who are hostesses and now, or tons of friends who are hostesses, tons of friends who were customers before and now are hostesses or consultants. That's how it works. Um, anyway, so definitely friend them at the end of the party. Before that, to get their attention, to get them to see the post more frequently in their feed, they need to be attached to somebody that they know, which is the hostess, right? So first of all, and I keep saying that, and I'm going to write this down because I'm rambling and some of you want text. The hostess can't just invite all of her friends because most of those people have not talked to her in forever and they haven't had that relationship engagement. Secondly, the hostess needs to chat to these people prior to inviting them so that there's that engagement. She needs to send them picture, or messages, whatever. We'll get to hostess coaching. But if you t write a post, every single post has a picture, hopefully. Every single post needs to have with and the hostess's name. You need to tag her in every single post because that's how her friends are going to see those posts. She also, to bump up all these posts, needs to comment on every single post. That's how, because Facebook shows you what your friends are commenting on and because they think you like that, that needs to be in there. She needs to comment on that. You tag her, she comments, bang. Now to boost this even more, obviously she tags a friend per post. Hey, I know you have kids. Look, check at this junior's post or whatever. Hey, you're about to get married. Look at these great nails. She tags. Okay. Two. Anyway. So I hope this has made sense. I've completely rambled. My daughter came in and interrupted me. I hope it made sense. I will talk to you soon. I'll get it down on paper for you. Bye.